All right, y'all. So wanted to share a update today. So my virtual production journey has progressed a lot. I have um, recently installed an AMD Ryzen 5950X CPU uh, and RTX 3090 Ti GPU uh, to my computer. So I got super updated hardware and this is a sci-fi world pack that I downloaded online, and you all can actually get this as well. Um, but what's really interesting that I did is I imported a MetaHuman into uh, using a 3D face scan. So uh, you can check out, let's see if we can get to it from here. So it might be hard to get to it from here because I'm not really familiar with all the menus and stuff yet. Um, but I imported a 3D face scan of Unreal uh, into my um, into into MetaHuman, which is Unreal's uh, rigging software to create 3D photorealistic animations of yourself. And I don't think it looks super accurate, but I do think it's still pretty interesting to see. So I'm gonna drop him in the sci-fi city here. All right. We have done that, and so I want to turn him a, a little bit about his axis. Um, yeah, so we're gonna rotate him this way. I think that's a pretty good backdrop. Um, of course, save. And I'm gonna stick a virtual camera in here. V cam activate. So I don't know where where is our V cam active? There he's trapped in the ground. So let's take him out of the ground. like substantial progress is being made here. So turn about his axis. And this is pretty tight, but I'm gonna raise him up a little bit. Uh, I think that's about eye level. And now I need to fix the settings with the camera. So uh, this focal length kind of sucks. Let's see. Oh, it looks like I'm freezing here or something. Unreal is completely frozen on me. Yep, oh, there we go. Alright, so. So I'm moving the camera around and I want to manually focus this on our subject. So if I track it, I guess I can set it to track and focus. It's really helpful to actually know how cameras work because this is exactly what they do. Um, so, I think if I track it to our MetaHuman, yep, and now he's in focus, awesome. So I've got our MetaHuman tracked and it'd be cool if we could do like some kind of automatic camera movement. So if I 
something that's a little smoother. So I'm gonna figure that piece out. But uh, this to me is a substantial amount of progress. So that is it for today and hopefully there'll be some more progress soon.